Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I create beauty videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at SoCal underscore X. So I am going to apologize in advance because I do have a parrot and he's a little loud sometimes. So if you hear like any alarm noises or something like that, yeah, it's my parrot. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate your hair. Um, I guess like Kim Kardashian, like the Kardashians um, do their hair like this little nice wave crimp. Um, a lot of celebrities and big influencers have been doing their hair like this. And I honestly love the way it looks because it's like so, I don't know, just so pretty and put together. So I don't have my extensions in right now, but usually um, when I do this look, I put in my extensions. I just don't feel like wearing extensions right now. And yes, I did film this look. I'm going to show you how to crimp your hair with a straightener. So usually the best way to crimp your hair is using this, this like hair waver thing. So it's like a crimper. This is by Bedhead. I got mine at Ulta. I believe it was around $38. Um, and it's cool because you can adjust it here so you can adjust how thick or how big you want your wave. I usually put it on the lowest one because I don't want it like that big. So I just put it on the lowest one. But if you don't have this, you can actually use a straightener. I put mine, this is the Babyless Pro, the Nano Titanium. I guess that's what it's called. And I always put mine on the highest heat, which is 50. And of course, I've already put um, heat protectant in my hair. And this is actually my favorite one. It is by Silk Elements. It's the Olive Hair Protector. And I love this because it leaves your hair super shiny. So it's not like, it doesn't feel like water, like some other heat protectants that you put on. It's just like you're putting on water. But this is actually really good. <laughs> so this says it reduces frizz while smoothing hair, helps protect from damage, and you can use with all heat styling appliances. It's alcohol free and it's for relaxed and natural hair and for dry hair. So it'll tell you all that right there. So I actually, when I'm finished, I actually like to spray a little bit on my hand and kind of like, you know, put it on top of my hair because I have so many flyaways, it's super annoying. But anyways, let's get to the point here of this video. So I like to section off my hair and I'll start with the bottom first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, like on this side with the straightener and then I'll show you how it's done with the waver so you can see the difference. So what you wanna do is take your straightener and you're gonna go ahead and put it inwards like this and then put it outwards, inwards, outwards, inwards, outwards inwards, outwards, inwards, until you're done, right? So that's what the hair looks like. Um, I did a little two in right there. So I'm just gonna, let me back up a little. So that's what your hair looks like waved with the straightener. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you with the actual waver. Now, the waiver, I always put it at 350. You can put it higher if you want, but I like to, oh crap, this thing is like not reaching me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take like a little piece of hair, not too much, cause then it doesn't really work that well. So, hold on, I gotta get closer because the thing's not reaching. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'll hold it for about eight seconds and then move down.
All right, so that's what it looks like with the waiver. So here's that, and then here's the straightener. So here's how it looks like with the straightener. Here's the waiver. Straightener. Obviously, you do get a little bit of a different texture, but I mean, this works just as good as well, too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again. So I'll put this up here. Get another, get another strand of hair. So again, you want to start up from the bot from the top, and you're gonna go inwards, slide down, outwards, down, inwards. So it's just outwards and inwards, just like that. Whoops. All right. So there's that side. There you go. And. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and you guys can watch me. or you have long hair um, naturally then it's gonna look super good but it looks great on short hair too but I honestly love the way it looks like on long hair as well so yeah um, now you know you don't really need um, a waiver if you have a straightener obviously the waiver does leave it more defined but straightener does the job as well so that's the end of my video um oh wait also an optional thing is that you can put mousse in your hair um i use the tresemme and that's usually just to like make the curls give it a little bit of that wet look kind of but it's not gonna be so extreme i would probably put like that much in there and i just kind of lightly Put it in my hair all right guys so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial and hope you learned a little something i'm sure there's millions of tutorials on how to do this but this one's mine this is how i do it so go ahead and like subscribe follow me on instagram at socal underscore x and again thank you for watching bye guys